Okay, so you've installed Windows 8. Now what? You met with this little screen and a little icon. It looks pretty enough, but what do we do? So if you've got a touch screen, you can slide your finger across and it will open it up. Or you can click. doesn't do much, but if you click twice, there it is. Now you've got your little, you know, your thing and everything. So you just got to put in your password. And it logs you in. So there we go. Now you've got all these little things. Pretty obvious what they are. Like that's mail, calendar, photos. You can move by rolling your mouse. Or there's this thing here. So your little mouse scroller will slide it, see, up, down. And also, if you've got a touch screen, you can slide, but I do not have a touch screen. Now, this is what I like. If I press the Windows button, it doesn't do nothing. If I press the desktop, there we go. Press the desktop button, then if I press the Windows button from here, straight back to the Start menu. And once the desktop's open, press it again, and it goes back to the desktop. You've got this if you feel like typing anything. Uh, see, makes some pretty noises and crap. But yeah, there's not really much here, but I do like this Internet Explorer a lot better. Because this takes you to the normal Internet Explorer. See, blah, blah, whatever you want to go. And then if I go back here and click on Internet Explorer, this takes you to like the touch screen sort of, you know, app version of Internet Explorer. See how it's like that? Slide up and down, all that crap. See? Now, t this is what I like too. There's no... How do you close this? Well, I could go like this, but if I go to the top left-hand corner, it shows me whatever's still open. So that program there is still open, this app. So press the Windows button. It's still there. We can't see it, but it's still running. It's still using up your battery, especially if you've got a tablet or something like that. We don't care about that. We say no. But to close a program or an app, see that? comes up like that and we just drag it down so that means open that means close and it's gone or alternative I'll turn it see look now I have to reload you can press alt f4 and it just dies but see so there's a few little nifty things Bing I'm not a big fan of Bing I'm gonna get rid of that soon and put Google because Google seems to work a lot better but yeah so you can take a look around like here, CNET's on there. SkyDrive, that's like a cloud stuff. The store, that's what I want to take a look at. So now it's going to load up the store. Which is where your apps and stuff are. But yeah, give it a minute to load. So here we go, we're going to go top free and just download some sort of app. Let's see what they got for us. Just to show you how to download an app. Google search, see? Just what I was talking about. I want Google search. Yep. Install. It's as simple as this. Free apps are the best apps. So there we go. It's installing Google search at the minute. What else do we want? Ah, do you see anything good? I don't see too much I want. Is there Facebook? I want Facebook, to be honest. I wonder if I... I don't see a Facebook. You'd think they would they would have a app here. Let's see if I go back. If I go search face. Actually is Facebook already installed on here? No, oh, who cares? Google search is finished installing. Let's exit this. So I'm gonna go up here and pull it down to exit. Now Google. There they are. And I don't like Bing, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to uninstall it. All I had to do to do that, to check that like that, was right click. So I can turn off the tile, I can make the tile smaller if I wanted to, I can make it larger. But what I want to do, or you can unpin from the start menu, so it's just in your programs menu, but what I want to do is uninstall because I don't like Bing. And I'm going to replace Bing with Google by just dragging it there. See, but if I wanted... See, like, all of these can be moved as well. So if I want to Google that by itself, 
See how it gets its own little line there? So that means join that one. This means join that one. I also put it in the middle, like so, with the little line. I like it with this other stuff. Yeah, so that's and now let I'm gonna show you the new menu. So on the right Oh the menu should come up if I was all the way on the right. Oh, whoa. And back into that. Go to the right top. Brings up this menu. So we've got search, share, start, devices, settings. So yeah, that's if you ever want that. And this side brings up your open things menu, which we've got nothing open. So I've got music open. I'll let that go. I'll go back to my menu, open the stocks, open maps. I'm just going to open heaps of things here to show you. Photos. Alright, now if we go up here, should have, see, that shows you everything we've got open. So we can close them by right clicking on them and clicking close if you want to do that, or by the other way of being in it and actually dragging it down, which it doesn't seem to want to do at the minute. It's crashing out a little bit. It's a little bit buggy still. Because I haven't got it on much specs at the minute. Should turn it up a bit. But yeah, actually, what's that? This is my people, which is automatically integrated with Facebook and everything like that. So anyway, there's a quick little jump into it. So now you know how to navigate this little screen. That's your name. Well, my name in this case. How to install an app. Your desktop. Like so. The basic internet. You can still see all your files like you used to be able to. So yeah, there we go.